What gender double standard really annoys you? I grew up overseas, in a country that doesn't really encourage personal vehicles. We have a lot of public transport. As a result, my mechanical knowledge is extremely poor. My white girlfriend, who grew up in the sticks, and whose dad is a mechanic, has tinkered with cars all her life. Every time we walk to an auto parts store to get stuff, the employees never talk to her. Even if they ask me a question and she replies, they continue acting as if she doesn't exist and keep talking to me. It's unreal. It's as if they don't see her. She's gone to job interviews for mechanical jobs where the interviewer asks her very basic and belittling questions because they don't believe she can understand mechanical stuff. Meanwhile up until last year when I met her I didn't know what a ratchet was. How my daughter can do gymnastics and she's called athletic. But as soon as her twin brother does gymnastics. He's just weird. When I was a teenager. I was not allowed out of the house to walk to the local shopping center to hang with my friends. All male. My mom told me it was because I'm a girl and I'm way more likely to be attacked on my way and if I was a boy it'd be different. In general since I was 12 up to now. When walking alone in public I was very frequently sexually harassed and I'm not sure if the same thing happens to men. Going into a store that is considered. Male. PC store. Video game store. Car shops. Etc. And the salesperson only talking to my male partner despite me being the person looking for a product and being the buyer. Threatening your daughter's boyfriend. This is a double standard. But it's also just a Hollywood trope that some dads think they're supposed to do and it's incredibly creepy. When I was in high school at least a couple dads would say things like. Just remember I know how to shoot. And. If you break her heart I'll break you. Etc. Sometimes it's just dads thinking they're cute when they do this but I've received at least one legitimate threat by a dad thinking he was doing his dad duty. Keep in mind that as a teenager I was very small and not at all in the bad boys clique. But if you are actually worried about your daughter's boyfriend harming her, then don't let her date them. Don't just blanket threaten a bunch of minors. As a guy, I feel like if I am around kids, or smile because I see a youngster having fun in the park or something I'm labeled as a potential threat. But really I just love to see kids being kids and I'm thinking back on the days when I was that age. I am a female teacher. I only know one man who is a kindergarten teacher. And people constantly make comments to him about how women must love it that he is so good with kids. And he will be a great dad. As if he is only in the job to impress women? Nobody says this shit to me. My toddler son is a little heartbreaker, but my toddler daughter will never date and I'll threaten any boy that wants to take her on a date. Why do yogurt commercials never feature men? I like yogurt too goddammit. I can dress in typical men's clothes all day every day. Never wear makeup, cut my hair short and never get my gender or sexual orientation questioned but my husband gets comments to his gender identity and orientation for wearing a pink shirt to his suit. Fuck right off with that. Pockets. I want them. I'm a bar manager. The other night a girl bit and punched my security guard. I phoned the police who came in about 45 minutes and she was still there just waiting for them to show up. She could have simply left. And was screaming at us that we have no idea what it's like to be a minority. True. And no idea what it's like to be a woman. True. And no idea what it's like to be the victim of sexual assault. Not true. And was also not relevant for that night. She was not arrested. And no charges were laid after she literally bit another human being and was trespassing on our property. And seemed to be either on drugs she shouldn't have been or needed drugs she wasn't on. My security guard was furious about the situation and said. If that was a guy, I would have fucking knocked him out long ago. I'm not advocating for women being hit for things that a man would be hit for. I'm saying that it's very frustrating to see that the same patience and restraint wouldn't be shown to a man who did the same things. It's a tough situation because I don't think either gender gets treated well in that situation. Women are dismissed as crazy. Men are simply hit and dismissed. There has to be something in between that works for both. Edit. I'm seeing a lot of people say. Hit both. It's self-defense. Or something similar. 1. I'd prefer nobody gets hit in these situations if they. And be controlled. 2. A 300-pound guy hitting a 100-pound woman, or man, would likely be looked at as excessive in most cases. This is a little heavy. But here goes. I'm a man who has been sexually assaulted and raped by a woman. The authorities thought I was a joke and many people do not believe me simply because they don't accept that a woman can rape a man. That as man if I show any affection towards children I could be considered a pedo. 
Not just that I like children. Edit. I don't mean it like that guys. The fact that there are still people out there in 2020 who think a man can't be raped or sexually harassed blows my mind. Yes. Men get sexually harassed and catcalled. Yes. Men get raped. Yes. They get raped by women. Not just other men. It happens a lot more than you think it does. But they're just taught by society to suppress the trauma that comes with it. They're taught not to speak up about it or else people will just laugh, ask them why they didn't enjoy it. Fuck you. Double standard. Pockets in clothing. My three-year-old son has more functional pockets in his pants than my wife does in hers. Shout out to Torrid for actually putting usable pockets in women's clothing. Maybe this is more prevalent among people of my culture. Mexicans. But I remember when I was little we were done eating dinner at my aunt's house and all the women and girls got to cleaning while the men sat in living room watching TV. When I asked my mom about it she and my aunt just laughed. Giving me an, oh you dumb little girl. Look. Pisses me off to think about it to this day. Lots of guy stuff here. So I'll add the other side. Not allowed to do. Guy. Work at work. As in, I can easily fix what is broken with some wrenches right now. But no. Male coworker X. Will do it next week. I got turned down for a job at the state park because it involved occasionally lifting 50 pounds bags and well. Girls apparently can't do that. I move 300 pounds barrels at my job now. The state park did offer me a different job, working in the office, by myself, until 11 p.m. I was 16 at the time. But hey, office work is for girls. So that's a better fit. And if I do any of this super difficult guy work, I'm seen as some sort of butch lesbian. Because regular straight girls can't do that stuff. Guy here. One double standard that I've benefited from but I still find very saddening. Guys being praised as being great with kids, for doing the bare minimum. I used to date someone who had a very young sister. Around 7 years old when we started dating. I remember taking the three of us to see a Disney movie at the theater. I was holding the little sister's hand while we were waiting in line. And a woman in line behind us. Apropos of nothing. Says to me. I can tell you're going to be a great dad. She didn't say. I can tell you two are going to be great parents. She just said it to me. For holding a kid's hand to keep her from wandering off. She was also wrong. I don't want kids ever. But more to the point. It just made me sad that. Apparently. The standards for being a good parent. Are so much lower for men than for women. So much is expected of mothers. But apparently so little is expected of guys that any random schmuck can be declared a. Good father. By accident. That's. That's really depressing. The expectation and pressure to wear makeup in a professional setting. Men who are not shy of sharing their emotions and are understanding of women's emotion are weak. Not really sure if it a double standard per se. But as a straight guy the onus is on me to approach women. What I mean is. On dating apps, IRL, whatever. The guy is expected to message first, ask for her number. Just once. I want to be approached, pursued. I want to feel like I'm worthwhile enough. And after nearly five years of trying and failing with dating, relationships my self-esteem. Never great to begin with. Thanks to divorce. Is that a nadir? Yeah yeah. Don't be unattractive. But that isn't my point. It's not a major one. But that the guy is expected to ask out the girl. And always make the first move. It's fine for a girl to ask out a guy or make the first move. This may be very culture dependent. But the way women are allowed to express their feelings freely. To cry. However men should be tough and suck it up. I think this is very toxic to the mental health of men. When my wife is taking care of our kids she is. Parenting. But when I. Their father. Takes care of them I am. Babysitting. I hate when her lady friends say. Oh you are such a good dad. Babysitting your kids. Bitch. I am parenting my kids. This one may be a little odd. But I'm a female bartender who works with one other woman and four other guys. For some reason it's okay for men to. Tease. As ladies when we make drinks. But I haven't seen that happen to the guys I work with. It might happen too. But maybe not as often. I currently work at a country club. But I've worked at chain restaurants and dive bars too. It's really frustrating to be busy and hear some condescending pick up lines about. How does someone like you know how to make insert really basic drink here? And it's shocking the amount of people that want to give me pro tips on pouring beer and whatnot. This obviously isn't every guy out here doing this. But there has been at least one of these guys at each bar I've worked. 
I don't like how when women are enthusiastic about caring for their kids or working in a daycare, preschool they're seen as nice people. But when men are just out and about with their kids they're pegged as a pedophile. I wish it were socially acceptable for guys to hug pulled hands like girls do. Wearing makeup and someone saying, you'd look better without it. And the next day you wear nothing and they ask, are you sick or something? SMH, I'll just do what I want.